Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Monkey Mid here again. Uh, I'm sitting in my studio and it's absolutely sweltering. It's 28 degrees out there, guys. Absolutely boiling. Uh, why am I doing this? Because I love you. Kiss loves you. Well, Kiss loves you for your money, anyway. Uh, so I'm doing this in a sweltering hot. Hence, I have a glass of water. Now, you don't normally see me with a glass of water, but I have to have a glass of water today. It is hot. So anyway, guys, should we crack on? So I can get out of here. Right, first up, we have Kiss Alive 2, but not just any ordinary Alive 2. This is Alive 2, of the outtakes. Uh, I'm sure you've heard this one before. This uh, came out as a bootleg CD uh, about 15 years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. And you've seen it on my uh, YouTube channel. I have reviewed it. But they've decided to bring this out on vinyl now, whoever they are. Uh, so this is Alive 2, Kiss Alive 2, the outtakes. Um, make sure when you buy this that it comes with a plastic sleeve and it's got the sticker. Um, the, the sticker is actually on the plastic sleeve here, as you can see, and uh, it says KISS 396. I don't know if you can see that. Out of 500, 396 out of 500, so only 500 copies uh, were made, allegedly. Um, so there it is. That's the front, that's the back, but I'm going to show you the front and the back again because the plastic might... Uh, Give us some sort of reflection or a glare. There you have it. That's the front. Now it looks a little bit faded compared to the original Alive um, 2 album. It looks like um, it's been in the sunlight for too long. But this is the colour it comes in. Believe you me. Uh, I don't know why the, the colours could have been more vibrant when they made this. But anyway, that is the front. That is the back. It is a single album. So it's not the full uh, show. But it's just the outtakes of various songs that weren't used on the original Alive 2. So I shall show you the inside. A very nice a sleeve, as we can see, nice pictures. Uh, a picture there, and there are sleeve notes down here. Uh, notes to tell you about the actual show. Um, but anyway, that's that, and I'm gonna show you the inside. Unfortunately, this only comes, oh God, it's ghastly, a pink vinyl. It's a very pale pink, but that is the only color it comes with. I don't believe it comes in black, or any other colour, if you know any, anything else or any other colours it comes in, let me know. Uh, don't particularly like the logo either, or the label. Lords of the Wastelands, I'm assuming that is the bootleg company. I personally would have put a Casablanca label on there to make it look a little bit more um, official kind of thing. Not official, but just looks cooler with the Casablanca label. That is a bit crap really, isn't it? So, but anyway, there you go. So that is a Kiss Alive 2 outtake. Check it out again. There you go. Lovely. Okay, let's move on to the next. Ah, Kiss Crazy Like a Fox. Now this one's from New Zealand, uh, 1980, the 3rd of December, 1980, on the Unmasked Tour when they did the Aussie shows and the New Zealand shows. Um, and this is the full show on double album. Let me check that out. Now you might not be able to see it, but the picture is a little bit sort of a hazy. It's not a very sharp picture, unfortunately. And the back is even worse. It's it's just a little bit pixelated. Uh, it could have been better. So, but there you go. There's no quality control on these things, unfortunately. But anyway, here's a picture of Eric Carr as well. Quite a good picture, but again, it's just slightly um, hazy. It's not sharp. Eric the Fox Carr, God rest his soul. Uh, now there's one disappointing thing about this album, um, I'll show you the labels anyway. As you can see, this is in a clear vinyl, I don't know if it comes in black or any colour vinyl or whatever, but there you go, there's the picture label that side, there's the picture label on the other side. Very nice you might think, very nice, well, of course it is. But the second album, oh, where's the picture label gone, we run out of paper. Both sides, no picture. It is on clear vinyl. There you go, but the picture label's missing. And the other disappointing thing about this album is that uh, I don't know where they took the, um, the sound from. Uh, it sounds like it's from an MP3, because there's a four second gap, a four second silent gap in between the songs. So it really makes it uh, a bit crap to listen to. The quality's perfect, but um, there are gaps, uh, silent gaps in between songs. So bear that in mind if you're buying this. So now if I was you, I personally, I don't normally collect many of these, but I would buy this. This is the uh, the CD version 
of uh, New Zealand 1980 on the Godfather label. And I think I reviewed this last time on my, um, on my show, uh, or maybe a few shows before. But here we go, here's the inside, very nicely done. As you would expect from the Godfather label. There you go, on the back. There you go. Uh, and this is the full show, and there's no silent gaps on this one. Um, you bootleggers out there, bootleg people, people who make bootlegs, can I have this one on vinyl, please? I would love to have this on vinyl record, not CD. Uh, without the gaps, preferably. Silent gaps. But there you go. Right. Next up we have, now this is a beauty. Whoa. Kiss, a Sydney, Australia, 1980. Again on the Unmasked tour. There you go, check that out. It comes with a very nice OBI, Japanese style, nicely done. Uh, this comes in black, uh, yellow and blue vinyl. I opted for the conservative version, the black vinyl. This is very, very nicely done. Let me open this up for you. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just put that away first. I'll show you that in a minute. This is a beauty. There you go. Whoop, that's the OBI. Not stuck down. I'm going to put that on the floor. I'll put that here. There you go, guys. Check that out. And that is the back, which is done in the uh, Kiss Alive 2 style. You've got the four separate pictures there of the band members. Um, the way it's all laid out is very much Live 2. That's the Sydney. I'll just show you the picture label. I'll just show you one of them and then show you both because they're both the same black vinyl. And there is the picture label. Very nice, same on both sides. Uh, this one is perfect quality. Uh, it's well worth having in your collection if you can get it. So there you go. So that's Sydney. And there's another bonus feature to this one. It comes with a very saucy booklet. There you go, Kiss in Australia. There we go. Very nice indeed, can you see that? I hope you can see that. That'd be fine one, you can see it clearer, wouldn't you? Hey, there you go, there's the center of it. Check that out, guys. I like Kiss mania, gone completely mental in Australia, 1980, there you go. And that's the back of it. So make sure when you buy this, that it does come with the booklet as well and the OBI. So there you go, guys. That's Kiss of Sydney 1980. Right, next up we have, uh, I think you will have seen this before. It's been out for a few years now. This is Sneak Attack Part Two. Um, this was from the Kiss Carton series where they produced uh, uh, other um, classic Kiss bootleg albums like Destroys Anaheim, Blitz London, Fried Alive, Second Kiss and Long Beach. And this one's Sneak Attack Part 2. I haven't got Part 1. I uh, haven't seen it anywhere. Um, so if you've got Part 1 and you want to sell it cheap because I'm complete skin flint, um, let me know because I need it. Uh, it comes in a green, the Part 1, but this is Part 2 and it comes in a red. So I picked this one up quite cheaply, quite nice. I like this. comes with the OBI. Oh, yeah. I can see Paul there. Let me cover him up. There we go. Paul, goodbye. And that's the back of it. I think it's a picture from Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park there, I believe. There you go. Uh, now these these are really nice, but they they could have made it a little bit better. Uh, even though it's on coloured vinyl, which is okay. Uh, the all white labels, all of them, like the Blitz Londons, the Joy Anaheim, they're all um, the white label, which is a bit boring, really, a bit vanilla, so to speak. Um, but still, very nice to have in your collection. The OBI always enhances the uh, packaging. Which I like, but you know what? In some ways, I actually prefer the original Canyon label ones. These are the ones from the original late 70s, early 80s that they produced with just a paper cover. It's a little bit primitive, but I actually like these because these, well, I like these more. They're, they're just a bit more, I don't know, a bit dirty, a bit grubby, a bit sort of, um, oh, I don't know, it's just a bit primitive. I love it. There you go. But I think I've done a review on this one, so I won't go on about this one. But anyway, that is a Lee, uh, one I just purchased recently. There you go. Right, next up we have Chopper and Chicks. Yeah, this one's basically the rock and roll tour rehearsal. And the exact date is uh, 15th of November 1976 um, in Reading, MA, USA, rock and roll tour rehearsal. And um, 
very nice sound quality. We've heard this one before. It has been released uh, many a times on bootleg CDs, whatever. But this came out in vinyl recently, so I got it from a, a friend of mine up in Scotland who will remain nameless. I uh, got it for a very cheap price, and uh, so it's in my collection. That's the front of it. That is the back. There you go. See it? There you go. Um, again, it's a little bit boring because, yes, it comes in a colour vinyl, very nice, but it comes without a printed label. I so wish that when bootleggers make vinyl uh, albums that they do uh, put um, picture labels. It just finishes it off nicely. Um, when I do my stuff, I make sure it looks good and presentable. Uh, this is okay, but let's have some picture label, guys. Picture labels. So that's that one. Uh, so that's Chopper and Chicks, which was my last vinyl purchase. There you go. But I did, I know I don't collect these a lot, I did actually buy a bootleg CD, which I thought was, uh, it's not something I do often unless it's on the Godfather label or on the Eater Peach label, because their presentation is second to none. There we have it Towering Inferno. Oh, there we go. Now this one's from Philadelphia, October the 3rd, 1975. Perfect sound quality, full show. There we go, that's the back of it, front of it. And this one's on the Eater Peach label. Let me show you the inside. Very nice, hope you guys can see that. And that's the other side. Beautiful, nicely done, except uh, that's a bit boring, the picture label. Not how I would have done it. But there you go. Tell Mr. Eat a Peach. And it also comes with a nice little booklet there. There we go. See that? That opens up. Oh, really nice. Hope you can see that. There you go. And that's the back of it. Classic Kiss at its best. Absolute classic. So there you go. Have one last look at that. Lovely. And just one last thing, guys, before I go. Um, I haven't got the original copy of this. I just made this one up. Uh, a friend of mine from Scotland, uh, again, uh, did the discs for me on the cover. Uh, but I reprinted the cover because I like it glossy. Um, this is uh, from Fort Worth, Texas, at the 4th and the 5th of September 1977. 1977. This has only just been kind of like um, found in the vaults or someone's uh, under, under the floorboards or under the bed somewhere. This has just come out. It's Fort Worth, Texas, 1977. There's two shows, the fourth and the fifth. The fourth is a full show, more or less. Um, the fifth is only a partial show. But the fifth is quite interesting because we've got Paul Stanley doing Black Diamond. He doesn't normally sing Black Diamond that often. It's normally done by Peter Chris, obviously. So I'll show you the inside. Uh, this is nicely done by my friend. There you go. Uh, although this is not, this is only a CDR copy, okay? But the actual sleeve is this, it's on uh, the Zodiac label and they always charge a lot of money for Zodiac uh, uh, bootleg CDs. This was about 60, 70 pounds on, um, on eBay. Bugger if I'm gonna pay that uh, sort of money. Uh, I'm too tight for that. Um, but I've got a copy of it, so it might appear on YouTube at some point, this show. So uh, check this one out. This is really worth checking out. Um, it's basically after the, uh, just after the Houston show, the 1st and 2nd of September, 1977. So that's the front of it, that's the back. This is what it will look like if you get the official, or unofficial, shall I say, uh, bootleg CD of it. But I ain't paying 60 pounds for it. No way, Jose. But there you go. So that's one of the shows that's just been released, kind of thing. And I think that is it. Oh, just one last thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this or not. There's only one other person on uh, e on uh, eBay, on YouTube that I know who's doing it. And I was gonna do something on the Kiss Japanese albums. Ooh, look at that OBI, very, very nice. I love these uh, Japanese albums. Um, if you want me to do it, just write to me and if I get enough people interested, I might do it. I'm not overly fussed, but I have got a whole stack of Kiss Japanese albums on um, in my collection so there you go that's the front of the first album and that's the back uh, I can do one if you like but I'm not overly fussed anyway guys it's getting hotter and hotter in here I need to get out of here and get in the sunshine uh, I got my bitches waiting out there for me uh, they're gonna give me a nice suntan massage I'm out of here they leave me to say adios ciao goodbye
enjoy. See you later, guys and girls.